My name is Nathan Taylor. I work with Advanced Design and Manufacturing here for the U.S. Army. The ECBC core capabilities as they relate to the two projects I worked on are largely in multimedia. I work on the animation and conceptual modeling team here. Uh, we basically are able to create interactive experiences, animations, videos uh, to supplement projects that exist or to create unique projects using those capabilities. Some of the core capabilities here that we've been working on are the multimedia and animation capabilities. I work on the animation team. We are focused on creating interactive experiences, animations, demonstrational videos, and other sorts of multimedia experiences that help support our warfighters. The mobile counter IED trainer was developed as an interactive asset to supplement soldiers learning about IEDs. The trainer is a physical system split into four trailers in which soldiers are able to walk through and learn about all the aspects of the creation of IEDs, their dangers, and find out more about how to counter them. When a soldier picks up this iPad, he's able to use it as a virtual system to represent the physical system. He can walk through every trailer as if he were actually there using simple clicks and screen gestures. He's able to click on items to view videos. He can understand more about the makings of an IED by clicking on an item and viewing it in a 360 rotation. And he is able to learn more about any aspect of the interior of the trailers through the text and audio that accompanies the system. MSIT was not developed here. However, the interactive experience was done almost completely here in-house. We worked with Jaedo to create this project. Uh, the future uses of MSIT and the technologies used for MSIT are very widespread. MSIT is, uh, this project specifically, is one of the first implementations of a fully immersible interactive experience in which a soldier doesn't have to go to a specific training location to access the education that is involved. It has every aspect of what is in the real system without needing to field four trailers in one location. It's much easier and more cost effective to field an iPad than it is to move an entire system. MSIT is unique in that it is a project which encompasses interactivity, multimedia, and education all in one in a way that hasn't really been presented specifically in the Army before. When a soldier is able to pick up an iPad, it's an accessible technology, one that they're very used to. Most of the people who are out in the field these days will understand how one of these devices works. And if they're able to pick it up and just use it the way they're used to, understandable controls, buttons, simple gestures, is something we work with every day on smartphones, and many of the people will probably even have an iPad. This mobile device is really the future of training when it comes to software like this. It's far simpler for somebody to pick this up and more engaging than it is for them to try to read a simple manual. Text and images on a piece of paper aren't really the same as a game.